Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Ducks. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And on the mound today, Dwayne Red. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets, and the he fact that he's not right, issuing free passes, that's going to make him more oh, economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. And here it comes. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. And Bichette is retired. Batting second. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. And one to watch, of course, their three-hole hitter, Alejandro Kirk. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, nope, his success rate is really high. Santiago Espinal stands in here, leaves that one down. No score just getting started, top of the first. Swing and a miss. And one and one. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. The punch out there, two down. Next to hit, Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro Kirk. Fouled off left side. That misses, and it's a ball to strike. There's the strike of the knees. One, two now. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Batting four. The first Here's baseman. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. In there for strike one. Oh. And ball one. Kirk off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he left that change up, up, got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. And a one two. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. And there's a foul ball. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two.
kicks and fires. Pulls that one foul. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Bottom of the first, and starting this one, you say Kikuchi. Chris, how about a scouting report? Yeah, Bogey got the win last time out, worked deep into the ball game and scattered a couple of hits. You can expect him today to try to match that performance of his last time out. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's a big power threat. Lawrence Cohen. Cohen. And a pitch. Misses off the inside. Ball one. Way inside, gets out of the way. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. And a 2-1 on the way. Good eye right there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here comes a pitch. Center field. And that is Springer. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Batting second. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's... Uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series now here is Lucas Cohen and now it's even up And another ball. And a pitch. That one fouled off. And down on strikes he goes. And now two gone. Well, not much you can argue with there as a hitter. That pitch was dotted on the inside Batting corner of the third. plate. I think even the if catcher. he swings the bat, Steven. it blows him up no and way. not really able to do anything with it anyhow. I think if you see that early, then perhaps you can pull those hands a little bit tighter and get the fat part of the bat to it. But I'd say overall, you just have to tip your cap on that one. Great execution. Now the catcher up to hit, Stephen Cohen. First offering misses badly for ball one. And now the lefty popped up first base side. Guerrero under it. Drops into the glove, and that'll do it. We played an inning, no score. Top of the second, and now for the Jays, George Springer. Leading off for Toronto, the center fielder, number four, George Springer. Red back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Foul ball. Right-hander kicks deals. 
Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one out now. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. No score here in the second. Pitch misses inside, and a count even one and one. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. In the air, right side. And that one gets down, fair ball. Around first, heading for two. Round second, digging for third. The relay throw. The tag out. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and a guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, and to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Lourdes Goriel Jr. stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. The pitch. Check swing, no appeal. Second inning here, no score. And that one fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Guriel gets a piece. Next offering misses, and the count's full. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's the third baseman, Oliver the Man. A small guy to hit over 30 home runs, and he's still not done yet. That is extremely impressive. The pitch. There's a strike. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Guriel ranging into the alley. Takes it in for the out. Batting fifth. The first baseman, Ben Witt. And now Ben Witt. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt pop it. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. One down, base is empty. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. And down on strikes. And two away now. Spencer, his goodness, will hit next. Spencer, his goodness. 
First nope. pitch, and he just misses. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Pitch misses, 2-0. and oh. Two outs. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Two down, nobody on. On the ground. Bare hand grab to first. And very nicely done for the out. We'll move to the third with no score. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. His righty lefty splits Lead there. Off of the, Blue Jays, the designated hitter, Kevin Biggio. The right hander back to work. And that one upstairs. And he deals. And that one is in for a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. And one and two. That was straight queso right there. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The 2 2 now. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And puts the squeeze on that, and there's one down. Batting none. The third baseman, Matt. Chapman. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Matt Chapman hits one out. His 14th of the year. It's 1-0. Most times it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. So up next, Bo Bichette. He's 0 for 1. The batter, the shortstop, Bo Bichette. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. The batter number five, second baseman. Santiago Two outs, base is empty. And now, Santiago Espinal. In there, and it's 0-1. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. 0-2 now. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that will end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a one nothing ball game. I remember as a child when music made me smile. Some people called it rhythm and soul. I could never get enough of this kind of stuff. Because I think they call it rock and roll. But I say roll. Mikey Cohen digs in now. Cohen, an RBI Cohen. machine this year. Left right near the top of the league Mikey. leaderboard as the season Cohen. winds down. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. And that one almost got him. The one two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a ball and two strikes. And there's a ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And here it comes. We got a full count. Three, two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Now it's the DH. Nigel Primetime. He's a guy who does it all. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Cohen on at first, nobody out. Next one misses, and now it's even 1 and 1. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit the pitch that misses two and one at the belt and fires and that one lifted in the air center field pulls it down and he makes the catch one away batting none the second baseman, Al, Al Moose. Moose, now at the plate. Moose enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get hot if he hopes to win the title. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Kikuchi throws the first. Cohen back on a dive. Kicks and fires. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. Two oh. And there's the strike. Kicks and deals. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Throw to second. He's safe. 
Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Next pitch inside, full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three, two now. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And he walked him. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not no a bad batter, thing. He set up a double shortstop. play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. And the batter will be the shortstop, Lawrence Cohen. So clutch, you could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. First pitch doesn't find the zone. You know, Brug, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Next one is off the plate, and that's ball three. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back there. And that one is gone over the right field wall. He'll circle the bases, his latest homer in an incredible season. And that's how they take the lead. It's 3-1. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. One out, base is empty. Now here's the switch inning power threat, Lucas Cohen. The center fielder. First pitch, just misses. Swung on, belted. That one's got a chance. Out of here. His 37th homer of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 4-1. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boob. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Stephen Cohen, the next to hit. Cohen enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get hot if he hopes to win the title. First offering misses the mark. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And the pitch. Falling behind two and one. Still only one out here in the inning. And a foul ball. The 
The wind of the pitch. Up the middle. Bichette handles. Two down. The batter. The third baseman. Oliver. The man. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Oliver, the man. 0 for 1 with a flyout. First offering in the dirt. The pitch. Just missed. That misses. And now 3-0. There's a strike. Fouls one away and now three and two. Here comes a pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good Number question. Uh, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Witt stands in now and watches strike one. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him he's up going, there. Could going, and going. there he goes. They pitch out. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro Kirk. Red back to work. That's in for a strike. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. Righty to the plate. On the ground to first. Into the outfield base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. That pretty now much that split the zone down the, the middle, season. and those are the ones Vladimir where you got to make Guerrero them pay. Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. In there for strike one. Pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. The 2 And that's downstairs and outside. Kirk gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that 
and somehow some way it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. So up next for Toronto George Springer went down on strikes his first time through next pitch downstairs and that's ball one. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Righty delivers. Off the mark there. And a count two and one. That one a triple digits for this guy. It's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind: seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. Two-two now. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, big power guy right there, and generating now so bad. much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing. Just couldn't do it. Hernandez takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. And a 1 0. And a foul ball. And the pitch. And delivers outside. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. And that one fouled off. The pitch. 3 2 now. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. So, RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Right hander kicks deals. First and second, two down. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Popped up, and that's a base hit. Kirk around third. Here's the throw. It's offline. The run comes in, and it's now a two-run game. No, they didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a now line bad. drive in the box score tomorrow. You'll hitter. take those boop hits off the end of the bat all day yeah. long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. 
So two on with two away. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two on, two outs. This one popped up. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-2. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now the first baseman, Lee Ben Witt. Long Island. The first baseman, Ben Witt. The pitch. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Fouled off. He was late. The wind of the pitch. And that one moves his feet. Three. Got him looking. And there's one away. Spencer, his dudeness, right will hit next. Spencer, his dudeness. In there, and it's 0-1. And now the lefty pitch misses there. 1-1. One and one. And he deals. And a count 1-2. and two. That one missing inside. Next offering misses and the count's full. The wind and the pitch. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Mikey Cohen getting ready to hit. First pitch, not close. Check on the runner, and he's back in there. Runner! To first, and they've got him picked off. To second, and he's out. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The lefty, the 1 0. There's a strike. And now 2 and 1 after that missed inside. Two outs. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Woo! 
and here it comes. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Over to first. Nicely done for the out. New inning getting started. Now at the plate, Matt Chapman. Leading off to Toronto, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, the not staying through the target, oh, and clearly not the release point he wanted. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Bichette in the box now. No balls and a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch, way upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one down. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Santiago. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Now the number two hitter, Santiago Espinal. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Chapman at first, one gone. The next pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. 2-0. And he grounds one to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, the last 10 games or now so have been anything but fun at the plate oh, for him. Oh. So that one has to feel good. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now Alejandro Kirk. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Runners at first and second with one gone. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Now that can happen when you're trying to dive out over the plate so you can control the outer half. Very difficult to get out of the way of good velocity in. In the air out towards right center. And Guerrero is set down. Runner tagging from third. Cut off, now a throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. And it's a one-run game. 
Well, he's always now capable that. of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed good. it right there, but a good job to drive in that run from third. So first and second with two outs. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. It was 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that's in there for strike one. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Kicks and fires. That misses. And the count one and two. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And the righty deals. On the ground to third. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Ducks leading this one four to three. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's a speed threat. Nigel prime time. The designated hitter. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Yeah, there's the strike. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Bowden Francis appears to be getting loose. De Leon warming up as well. The pitch. Way high. Now one yeah, missed. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one hammered. That's on its way. And that one's gone. His 33rd homer of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 5-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Al Moose digs in now. Moose, one of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. Al Moose. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Next pitch is outside, and the count is 2 0. Oh. And that's a strike. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses, and the count is filled up. And now the lefty popped up. Guerrero settles under this one, and there's one down. 
The batter number nine. Shortstop, Lawrence Cohen. Now it's the power speed combo. Lawrence Cohen. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The line of the pitch. Hard ground ball, base nine. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel now any batting. vibration in your hands fielder. whatsoever. Luke Such Griffin. a good feeling. Go that ball ahead. was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here comes the manager out of the Blue Jays' dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. You say Kikuchi is done, and as he heads off, he'll step aside for a minute. Back with the Ladies new pitcher after this break. Attention. Now on the bump, Bowden Francis. Pitching He's pitching on two days Number rest. Well, at this point Play of the ball game, we're talking about middle yeah. innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now, Lucas Cohen. He's already homered here in this one. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. Cohen over at first with one away. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two balls, no strikes. Throw over to first. Cohen dives back in safely. Here comes a pitch. And that's in there at the knees. And a pitch. Next offering is outside. Left hand batter waits. And that one sliced foul. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's now been part of his career catcher. since day one. So, digging in, Stephen Cohen. He gets a shot right here against the righty, and he is elite against right-handed pitching. The contact, the average, and delivers the slug. First pitch, and he just misses. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Two on, one out. And another ball. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next pitch misses. Three and one. Righty to the plate, and that's ball four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. Oliver, the man, the next to hit.
squirts away a little bit. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Next pitch inside. Now 2 0. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. One out. Base is full. The next offering misses. 3 and 0. Oh. Strike. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And that is Springer. Makes the grab. Runner tags for home. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. Not in time. He scores. And they lead by three. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough. And that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And the batter now, Ben Witt. All well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. In there for strike one. Looks like he sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Here's your one. And there's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Got him. And that's the inning. We're through five. The Ducks on top here, six to three. Welcome back. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Leading the Jays in striking distance, right but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. That one fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. That's the third. And Hernandez is out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter Up to roll to over. Blue Jays. The left fielder, Lourdes Guriel. And next for Toronto, Lourdes Guriel Jr. One for two. First offering misses the mark. There's a strike. What to now? And misses inside. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. The 2 2. Right through there, got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Kevin. 
And now it's going to be Kevin Biggio. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Slow roller to first. Witt collects it. The flip to the pitcher covering, and the inning is over. To the bottom of the sixth inning. The Ducks with the lead in this one, six to three. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now the right fielder, Spencer his Dudeness. For Long Island, the right fielder, Spencer his Dudeness. Francis back to work. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And George makes the grab. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no the doubt. Back. The left fielder, Mikey. And Cohen. now here is Mikey Cohen. Good contact guy, good defender. In there and it's own one. Well, at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Nope. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. One and one. The pitch. And that one in the air center field. Springer there makes the catch. Now batting the designated hitter, Nigel. Primetime. Two outs, base is empty. And now the DH, Nigel Primetime. And that's in there for strike one. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Yo one. Swing and a ball popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Dennis Eckersley. And he'll work on holding this lead. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? pitch and a foul ball the old one they tried to get him to chase on a slider down it away action in the pen down there Rob Rock getting loose out there Johnson the lefty warming up as well Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Well, the bright side is that that'll help the on-base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Bichette in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. 
swing and a ball popped up and Bichette is retired and there's one away. The batter number five second baseman Santiago Espinal stepping in Santiago Espinal. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here try to close that gap but you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Fires. Swing and a pop up. Takes it in for the out. Up next for the Blue Jays, the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk for the fourth time tonight. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And that one is lifted in the air, and that'll do it. Blue Jays held in check, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Al Moose. The second baseman, Al The right-hander back to work. There's the strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jimmy Garcia up and loosening in the pen. Merriweather getting cranked up as well. Righty delivers. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Boo, do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Next pitch inside, and now 2-0. Oh. Foul ball there. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Runner leads away at second. Slapped foul. Ripped to short. Bichette picks it up. Over to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting. The center fielder. Lucas. Cohen. Here's the center fielder. Lucas Cohen. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Rudder breaks for third. And that one gets away at the plate. No throw, he steals third easily. Moose stands at third with one gone in the inning. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. And he deals. That misses the zone. And that's ball three. Right-hander kicks deals. And a four-pitch nope. walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boo. The last one now wasn't even close. Catcher, Steven. Go in. 
Now the catcher up to hit, Stephen Cohen. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boog, he's so valuable, does a good job behind the plate, but offensively, he's a middle-of-the-order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers, and their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. Next offering is down low. Foul ball. First and third, one down. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two out. Now the third baseman, now Oliver batter. the man. He's been such Oliver. a good hitter with runners in scoring oh, position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. And it's gone! His 33rd homer of the year, and they tack on three. It's 9-3. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. On the mound now, Jose De Leon. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Bases empty with two away. And here is Ben Witt. The first baseman, number 23. And yeah, the first offering is not close. The wind of the pitch. Top of the zone for a strike. And that is strike one. The wind to kick the pitch. And now two and one. On the corner for a strike. The 2-2. Two -two. To third. Fires over to Guerrero. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a 9-3 ball game. Back here at the ballpark. Now here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Leading off from the Blue Jays, the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The pitch. And one ball up. one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Dontrell Willis, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. The 1 0. Just missed. And it is 2 and 1. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. That one not close. They're now 3 and 1. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. 
Springer. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. count one and two clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider hey you can't fault him for his commitment now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes the one two Springer swings through that one it's a strikeout first out in the top of the eighth now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. And now for the Jays, Teoscar Hernandez. And fouled off. Guerrero leads off first with one away. Out there to center. And there are two outs. Now batting left field, Lourdes Guriel. And at first, here's Guriel. Guriel gets a piece. And a pitch. On the inside corner for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Kicks and fires. And downstairs. A one two and a ball evens the count. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Great RBI spot here, just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And here's a three two, stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Bounced up the middle. Cohen over to pick it up. And that's the third out. One left for Toronto. Still way back. It's 9 3. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Spencer his Dudeness. The, the right fielder, Spencer. And a pitch. His dudeness. And that's outside. Two balls, no strikes to count. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Next offering misses, and it's 3-0. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's three and one. The pitch. 
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Now the left fielder, Mikey Cohen. First pitch, just misses. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike. Good eye in that spot. Next pitch misses. Three and one now. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here comes a 3-2. Fought off foul. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good now patience that, in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Nigel Primetime will hit next. Now towards right center. That's well struck. Banks off the wall. The throw is wild and it gets away. The run comes in from second. It's 10-3. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Stepping in the long ball threat, Al Moose. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Cohen at third, prime time, stands at second, no outs. Swings and misses. That's strike one. And the pitch. Way outside, and a count two and one. Right handed reliever. The two on is high. This to third, Chapman handles the chance to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Well, you're already down in the game, and not just by a couple, and then that error allows a run to score, and this is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball the rest of the way. So up next, Lawrence Cohen. First offering misses the mark. The pitch. This ball's chopped on the ground. Fires over to Guerrero. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting center fielder. Lucas Cohen. Lucas Cohen now at the plate. 
And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That one's in there, 0 and 1. One down, runners at second and third. Next pitch off the play, and it's a ball to strike. Two on, one out. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Next offering way off the plate. And a pitch. Out to short. Gets it to first. Out number two and another run comes in. New arm out of the bullpen. Jimmy Garcia. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Number 93. Jimmy Garcia. Here's the speedy catcher, Stephen Cohen. And this is a guy that doesn't just impact the game defensively. They count on him to deliver offense. He's the first guy at the ballpark. He's got to study opposing hitters. He's got to get familiar with his starting pitcher for that night. And he's getting in the cage to take his swings. That's a whole lot and so many times goes unnoticed. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. And he'll won. Nope. And a good eye there. And the righty deals. Two ball, one. Runner at second, two down. The next offering misses. Now three and one. Man on second, two down. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The batter, the third baseman. And here is Oliver, the man. In there for strike one. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Next offering is downstairs. Activity in the bullpen. Trevor Richards preparing to come on if needed. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering in the dirt. And it's two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Through eight full, the Ducks with the advantage on the scoreboard, 12 to 3. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Mariano Rivera. 
and a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Now it's the DH. Cabin Biggio. The designated hitter. Cabin Biggio. And here it comes. And it's fouled away. The next pitch misses and one and one. Just off the outside edge. Next one misses and a count is three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. 3-1 now. Chopped to the left side. The man picks it up on to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Up next to the Blue Jays, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Here's Matt Chapman. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Hard hit left side. And it goes just foul. Oh, and two now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two out. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. In an 0-2 count, you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Bo Bichette up to the dish. First offering, and it just misses. And there's a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. That's down it away. <laughs> and now two and two. Good eye right there. Three balls, two strikes the count. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And that'll do it. These guys just keep rolling. This winning streak is out of control. I can't believe that they've been able to reel off this many wins in a row. You're playing big league players on the other side of the diamond, and they're just getting it done day in, day out, night in, night out. And your final, 12-3. to three. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.
Time of the ball game, four hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us.